Alright, if you watched my other video about trying to get in onto Xbox Live about deleting your profile, clearing the cache and all of that, and it didn't work for you, and you went to download your profile, it asked you to sign in, you put your email in, you put your password in, and then you be maybe you came to this screen. Now, most people just skip over this and they read visit xbox.com forward slash forgot for help. But what you're missing is the you might need to use the app password if you set up two-step verification. So before you go to xbox.com slash forgot and try to reset your password, there's a few things that you need to do first. First of all, go to xbox.com and try to sign in with the same credentials that you tried to sign in with here when you got that error or this error. If, if when you sign in, it, it comes up with the same gamer tag and everything that you're trying to recover here, then you know that your password is good, and you know that you know the correct password. And the culprit might be the app password and two-step verification involved with your security proofs. Um, and I'm going to explain that, because it can get a little tricky, and you may have accidentally protected yourself from yourself. And that's where I come in. So... Stand by here for just a second. I will show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so to fix that problem, we need to check out your security proofs, and I'll explain to you just how they work and actually give you an example so you can see what it is that your computer can do that your Xbox can't do and explain why your password that works on Xbox.com does not work on your console. So to do that, we need to navigate to account... Live.com forward slash proofs. And we will be taken to a login screen. Okay, so now I need to log into Xbox.com. So I'm going to do that really quick and you're not going to see that. Okay, so after you sign in, the next screen that you're going to be taken to um, is going to say, Help us protect your account. This is the security proof in action. It says you need to use a security code to verify your account. How would you like to receive your code? Now, for security purposes on my own account, I, have, I don't have any of these anymore, but if you click this little drop down here, that will bring up all of your emails, um, whatever you set up for your security proofs to be. So, for example, you might have set your uh, cell phone. You might have two alternate email addresses. You want them to call your cell phone. Do you want them to text your cell phone? Do you want them to text a number to your, um, or not, yeah, text a number to your cell phone or email a number to your uh, secondary email account or whatever? this is where you'll select that and they should be in those lists now if you don't have access to those or you don't recognize them then that's where you're gonna select this I don't have these anymore but otherwise you're gonna wanna select one of those ways to get a code from Microsoft and they're gonna send it to you much like I'm going to do now but you're not gonna see that on the video either okay so once you do this you're gonna be taken into this screen that next screen after I, I selected for it to send an email to me so it sent me an email with a code in it I went to my email it was one of my alternate emails I got the code I put the code into where it said in the next screen it's very very simple and then that takes me to this um, account security account screen you're probably gonna to wanna to come all the way down here to security info and if I scrolled down here further, you would see my um, emails and alternate phone numbers that I set up for my security proofs. And then right here, you can see that my account is, in fact, protected by two-step verification. So what that means is whenever I try to log in somewhere, I get those emails that say, um, you know, do you want us to text or whatever, what I just explained here a moment ago. So that's telling me that two-step verification is turned on. Now, app passwords is where your Xbox 360 comes in. This is the reason that your Xbox 360 is not accepting your password that you use to sign into your account because you have two-step verification enabled. You are not able to sign in with your regular passcode. So what you need to do 
is you need to go and create a new app password now when you click that it's going to create it's going to generate this random long password and that is the password that you need to go back to your you're going to be doing this on your computer not on your xbox because you can't get in the xbox but you're going to need to go to that last screen that i showed you in the beginning of the video and instead of and you put in your email but instead of putting in your normal password put in the code that it spits out when you hit create new app password once you put that i don't even know how many digits it is it's like 12 14 it's a long it's a long jumbled number once you put that in that app password will be the app password that is created for um, for your Xbox and you just put it in there say remember me and then you're good to go um, I'm going to create one really quick and then I'll show you how your options are going to change once okay now that I've created an app password you can see that it says below here remove existing app passwords if for some reason your app password doesn't work or or any, for any reason that you don't need to use it anymore or you redownload the profile again you can come in here and you can remove existing app passwords and then you can just create a new one it's just an extra step but it helps protect your account this is also something that you're gonna need for like Windows Phone or mail apps on other devices another example would be is if you have like your email uh, your live account Microsoft account email go to like say your iPhone or something like that you just create an app password for it and then you put it in wherever your um, password would be and hopefully that'll get you back on live and you can continue downloading your profile and if you have any questions refer to the links in the bottom of the video because I will link all of the pertinent details that you're going to need to know or questions that you might have I'll try to answer them in the comments but most of the stuff you're going to need to know is going to be found right in those links so hopefully that helps and thanks for watching be sure to comment subscribe tell your friends or whatever if this helped you thank you